Hi, I'm Becky Norwood with The Woman I Love and Woman Up International. And today we're having a presentation. We're honored to have Natalie McQueen and, and Beth Epley <laughs> to, to give an explanation of an amazing way to do some fundraising and really, really begin to get some traction on the, the different projects that that we're all trying to um, get off the ground but we need the funding for and this is an excellent platform to do it I also want to introduce Tom who is already a, a member of, of this platform and he's going to share a little bit about what what he's been doing with his his thing so I'm going to turn it over to Natalie and um, just welcome and thank you so much for being here today. All right, well, thank you. Thank you for having us. And I, I absolutely love um, having this time to be able to share um, what we see is a way that we can help individuals and nonprofits um, monetize their social connections and be able to make things that maybe only a dream or a thought be able to um, make awareness about it and get the funding needed and the funding is residual that comes in every month so if you've got one project and you complete it you can switch it to something else and I'm going to just take a second so I can screen share here All right. well that's a pretty screen <laughs> isn't that nice <laughs> I just lost you all Somebody's got a lot of background noise, too. Um, I wonder if you can mute or... Yeah, why don't we see if we can all mute ourselves if you're not talking. Okay. All right, so we're just going to go through a quick little presentation just to kind of introduce you to some technology that um, you may know about and, and different marketing platforms that people are currently using. Um, Smash Fund is a marketing platform. Um, it's an influencer marketing platform. And one of the really interesting things about that is so many of the companies now are turning to that and we don't know it as called that, but it is. If we look at companies that um, pay you to share about their products, um, you know, have you ever gone to a restaurant and then you post it on Facebook and say, oh my gosh, you got to try this. Well, how many of those companies pay you for spreading the word about their uh, products or services? Well, a lot of the companies are catching on, companies like Ebates, Uber, Groupon, Cox Cable, um, and Lyft. They give you either a, a sharing code or a link, and when you share it with your friends and tell them about it, when they use that product or service, you're rewarded often um, through a monetary, you know, a one-time, um, uh, cash reward or sometimes uh, a, an amount that you can go in and shop like Ebates I believe they give you you know ten or fifteen dollars to shop with and I think I have it pulled up here to give you an example speaker.com is an influencer marketing platform and what they do is they give you the ability to come on as a brand or an influencer. The one little catch about this is you have to have over 100,000 people um, linked to you in your platforms to really be a part of this. And you can see the big companies that come on to, as a brand. There's Walgreens, Sony, Ford, Dr. Pepper, uh, Disney. Um, just to give you an example how this works, Say Disney has a brand new trip that they want to push for um, maybe a family, a family trip. And they would come and say, hey, we want one of your influencers that maybe is very family friend friendly or geared towards travel. And we will pay them a large amount. I believe it's somewhere like $200,000 for a day 
and that influencer will push it out to their thousands and thousands of people. So that sounds like a pretty sweet way to get paid, but most of us don't have that many people that we're connected to and we're not an influencer over that many people like Oprah. <laughs> you know, when Oprah says, hey, just read this book or, oh my gosh, I love this lipstick. You can't get those products for months on end because she's an influencer over um, many people. Now, one thing Smash Fun says, we're all influencers. It doesn't matter if it's over one person, five people, or 5,000. We all have people that know and love us, that they, they support us in what we're doing. Um, and that's where our platform works for the individual, works for the nonprofit that already has supporters, works for um, the college student that has other college friends having to pay tuition as well. So Smash Fund is operated as a public benefits corporation. Um, we believe with Smash Fund, through our influencer marketing platform, you can fund anything or anyone. Excuse and, me, Natalie. Um, yeah. Beth, can you put your, your uh, on mute, please? I've it's trying to find it. And it's, it's down on the, the bottom, the very bottom of your screen over on the um, left-hand side. There, there, I got it. Thank you. Oh, that's much better. Oh, okay. okay. All right, thank you. All right, so we believe that we can fund anyone or any, any um, thing on our platform. And we've got a couple ways to do it. One of the most amazing cash programs that you'll ever see is we monetize your social connections. We can have you reach out to the people that you have influence over, whether friends, family, or supporters, and no cost to them, they can actually support you and build a revenue coming in every month. And we'll get into exactly how that works. We believe that we've cracked a code by paying our marketing dollars um, monthly as a royalty to those people who share their invite code to help spread the word about Smash Fund's amazing global platform. Um, when you join Smash Fund, you have two choices. You can come in as a free or a paid subscription. Um, you'll get your own personal invite code. And if you um, share that invite code, we have a very unique algorithm that kind of tracks that code. And it's very similar to, if you're familiar with LinkedIn, they have that people you may know. Um, that's LinkedIn's algorithm working and tracking, you know, you know this person and this person. Well, you may know this person as well. And, and they're tracking. And on Facebook, it would be those mutual friends where, you know, if I have this friend and you have this friend oh well we uh, we have these mutual friends together that's the algorithm um, tracking and with our algorithm it tracks what we call your crowd how many people have you shared your code with and how many people did they share their code with it all counts as part of your crowd and you get paid for it every month not just one time um, Smash Fund allows people to get paid through their social influence monthly, free or, or um, paid. We give you the option to crowdfund for free. Not everybody will have a reason to crowdfund, but the people that do, it is an amazing opportunity to be able to not lose your donations. Um, there's 1,200 or over 1,200 crowdfunding companies out there. Probably GoFundMe is um, one of the bigger ones that is pretty successful, but there is still a very high uh, failure rate because people don't have the ability to push it out to others. Um, they don't have something that maybe everyone wants to donate to. And then... Um, every donation that does come in, those companies take anywhere from 5% to 15% of every donation. 
And Smash Fund takes 0% of your donation. We don't take any part of your donation, but there is a 2.9% a um, third party Stripe fee, and that's purely getting it from one bank account to another. All those other companies have that as well as their um, other fees. The exciting part um, to come at the end of the year is ShareHub. And ShareHub is going to be a place where globally people can post their campaigns and, and actually we're gonna have real estate crowdfunding deals and very unique products. Um, it's going to be kind of like the Groupon Shark Tank for global crowdfunding. So if you can picture, say you're a nonprofit and um, maybe you want to um, raise money for clean water. Let's just use that as an example. And you've got a way to support and, you know, uh, clean water that you can share it out to companies, but or to countries this could be posted as a global campaign. And if I'm just doing my own thing with my Smash Fund account and I have my followers and people that have used my invite by code, that part of my crowd, they, the people wanting to clean the water and get their campaign um, out there, they can offer to pay people a royalty for every person they share it with. So if I choose to, you know, look at that campaign and go, that's, that's a really good cause. I feel that some of my friends may want to give a donation to that. When I share it out to my crowd, they will be able to um, donate. They will be able to um, create a free account under them to give them monthly support. And that um, person putting out that campaign can monetize me and say, for every dollar that comes in from your crowd, we'll give you 30 cents on the dollar, say. So there's going to be a lot of really amazing deals that are going to be able to help people get funded globally very quickly. So this is a picture of a dashboard. When you create a, an account, you get a dashboard and it shows how many people um, that you're linked to in your crowd that are paid or free. And this is um, an overview of May 1st, May 8th, and May 16th. And the value of the first picture, 20 free subscribers and 25 paid subscribers is $145. Then on May 8th, it jumped to 80 free subscribers and 27 paid, which is valued at 215. And then the last one is 227. So you can see as this person shared out their account and more people signed up even as a free account, it paid you know, more and more as, as uh, more people come on to um, the platform and that's where if you take a nonprofit for example that has followers and supporters they can create free accounts and that will give that nonprofit um, money every month and if they share their code out it will just grow and grow as we um, have more people join the platform so who benefits from um, smash fund pretty much everyone but what we're seeing is students paying off their debt or getting ready to pay their tuition can share it with other students. And just by creating um, those free accounts, and then at some point you're going to have more connections that it would make sense to switch it to a paid account and, um, and make money and be able to pay your tuition every month. Nonprofits, churches. Think of a church that maybe has 500 members. That church could have all their members create a free account under their um, invite code, and that would monetize them $500 every month 
that they could give back to the community or help people within the church or use for whatever they want. Um, business owners, it not only makes awareness of what that business is about, maybe that business wants to give back to the community, maybe that business wants to advertise their new product. Um, you can use this platform however you want. Um, schools, or just people wanting a better lifestyle and knowing that they can monetize their social connections. And what do you do next? It's so simple. Go back to um, you know the person that showed you uh, their Smash Fun page and told you what they're they're doing and their passion. And you can do two things. You can um, make a donation to their page, or you can create a free account under their invite code. And then you have to do two quick things, verify your email and your cell number. And that really qualifies your account. Um, and then you can start sharing your invite code um, to monetize your social connections. Or if you're not wanting the money yourself, you can donate it to the nonprofit or to the person that um, you signed up under, I'm sure that they would be very happy to <laughs> have some extra money each month. So that's kind of a, a quick overview, but picture fast forward at the end of the year, we're gonna have this global platform of ShareHub. And um, yeah, um, sorry, then we will have uh, the ability to crowd or we have the ability already to crowdfund for free and to make that um, the cash rewards build every month. So when you share smash fund pays. And then I want to show you a few examples. So this is an example of um, my parents account actually <laughs> it's it's a kind of a funny account because they really don't understand social um, sharing or anything but you can see that their account is making money every month and when you look at the bottom personal connections plus connections um, personal connections mean you shared out your invite code and when you have a personal, it's right in front of it. So you can see that they've really only shared their invite code with one person, but because of that viral overlap, they've bumped into enough connections that you know it's cost effective for them to convert it to a paid account, which they did, and they're making money every month. Um, Another account I wanted to show you. Um, this is Becky's account, and it's something that she's very passionate about. She's um, had a book that has changed many women's lives and is going to share another chance for 30 women to share their stories and be able to um, get this book published. So We've got her invite code here um, that people can create a free account under and help um, bring in money to support this book. And then um, a support button that people can just uh, make a donation. Um, you can share it out on any of your social medias and um, you know, share your stories and, and below there's like updates um, and any other information that you want to share with people. So this platform enables you to share what you want to share, um, make awareness and allow people to give you um, support through donating or creating a free account and giving you that monthly revenue. So I don't know if you want to go into some questions. Yeah, I, I, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I'm echoing. <laughs> so um, a lot of my followers on Facebook are from Canada. 
And okay. I wanted to address that. And also, um, could we look in my account and see how many that are, I don't know, is this in my, this account or the one I started my own account, then I created this account under me. Right. So, and see how many are, are actually um, have signed up just for free accounts. Um, I'll look it up and see it. Maybe I can figure that out while we're, while you're talking. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah, we could definitely take a look at that later. Um, I don't know if you want like names up on the screen or. Um, we'll, we'll just go back to that a little bit later, but you also had, when you gave the presentation last week, you gave a couple of examples of like the, the lady that um, had cancer. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I can pull her account up. Well, this is Tom's. Tom, now, th since I have your account up, do you want to um, share your vision and, and what you've been doing um, with your golf program? Yes, um, we've, um, the, the program itself, we go into the schools and actually uh, bring the introduction to golf for the kids in their school and allow them to, we teach them why people golf and what's the advantage. And the main thing we push are scholarship opportunities and uh, social opportunities, careers and, and things like that. So we, what we teach is everybody can play golf. God gave you a certain amount of talent. It's your job to build your skill level up to equal your talent level. And when you do that, you'll always be a productive, sought-after person in society. That's what we're doing. Absolutely. There's a lot of benefits to golf and business. And um, as well, I believe you've helped some people get golf scholarships to go to school. Have you not? They're, they haven't got the scholarships yet, but uh, in another program I'm working on, we, we actually give about $65,000 a year out. Wow. And that's, so that's just, that's not in this program. That's another one. Okay. But it's in our program. We've only, we're only doing it for two years. This is our third, going to be our third year. Yeah. And uh, we've, we taught, introduced 6,300 kids to golf. Wow. and life lessons from golf. And this year we're planning to, to influence about 10,000. Wow. That's incredible. That's awesome. It's so, amazing. Well, I do have a question about the algorithm. Does like, if I'm, I've been signed up as a, as a paid member. And then, so every time I get somebody to sign up as a free member, uh, at, or get a paid one and they go out and bring other people on, do I get, their people that's, also. Yes. Is that is it, is it just one crowd. deep? Yes. Is that one deep, or does it go deeper than one? Um, I mean, if, if Be I'm I'm in Becky's, uh, uh, I mean in in uh, um, Beth's line, and yeah, you so use her invite code. So, so she gets things that I I put up, right? Right. Yeah. So. Because we're a benefit, or a um, public benefits corporation, and not like a, a multi-level marketing company or something, it doesn't go into um, a line. Like I'm pretty familiar with, say, how an MLM is, and you you've got a couple legs. There's different ones. Yeah. People are stacked. It's not like that at all. You will always be connected to the person that you use that invite code. Like you'll always be. Um, connected to Beth monetarily, whether okay. you're somewhere, if you can picture kind of a big circle, you're, you're somewhere out there. And that's where the algorithm, you're bumping into people and you'll often look and you're connected to people and you say, who are these people? Like you have no idea. Mm -hmm. And like my parents account, they, they know one person, <laughs> you know? Right. So well, it's, that, it's incredible as we, grow that's what happened with um with becky and i we had met before but i saw her name on 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 mm -hmm. my list right and so we got back in contact and now we're working on some other things that's that awesome. uh 
are, is going to help her program. Yeah. So, it, so it whoever is, Becky it talks to and shares her invite code will be part of your crowd. So you will get monetized for that every month. And so will Beth. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank that's, you for that's sharing about your golf program. I really um, think it's an amazing thing. Um, I grew up on the golf course and um, my parents dragged me to every tournament. And I, I'm so thankful for that because I, I feel like golf is a, it's a social but a business thing. It does have a lot of good lessons in it. And I think you're doing a great thing for kids. Uh, thank you. It's, it's it's something that they they miss in their regular schools, and and I go to uh, I'm on the Peoria Education Foundation, and I actually talk to kids that are basically couch surfers, and <laughs> yeah. that that means they have no parents. Yeah. The parents oh, pick them up. Right. So the reason they're couch surfers is because they don't have a home. So oh, it's, okay. It's it's really it's. And that's right here in Peoria. That's in our area right here. So that there's a lot more to it than just introducing them to golf or playing golf. Sure. It's so funny because I didn't, I haven't heard of that term couch server or surfer. <laughs> and yeah. I call my daughter a couch potato <laughs> all the time. So I figured it was something like that. Yeah. Tell her, if she doesn't get off the couch, she'll be a couch surfer. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, she's headed to medical school. So it, okay. It I think it's for some of the summer to be a couch surfer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is um, an example of a friend of mine that was in a situation that um, her mom was fighting uh, stage four breast cancer and um, her mom worked up until three weeks before she passed away. She was a massage therapist. And at that point, she could no longer uh, raise money to or, or work to raise money to pay her mortgage. And so her daughter was feeling a lot of stress. And um, we set up this page. And Darlene, she was such a giving person and we just kind of told her story and we got it out to some people and we literally raised this in a week and a half for her. And it gave her a couple months of mortgage to, you know, just take the pressure off her daughter. And um, so this campaign, or sorry, this um, platform can be raised for any kind of campaign, whether personal um, or, you know, starting up a business or, or absolutely anything. Um, the one, I guess, downfall, if you don't have something great to share, like let's get, I always give this example, living in Arizona, um, cats definitely don't need sweaters. <laughs> so if I were someone and said, I'm going to start this amazing business, I'm going to, um, create this business that start, that makes cat sweaters and I'm going to sell cat sweaters. Will you donate your hard earned money to my business? Most of you are want to run the other way, right? <laughs> and so you may not push my donate button, but by me showing you this platform and sharing and you having, you know, whatever um, is your passion you create your own page under my invite code. That's giving me money every month that even though that I have a bad idea and you don't want to support my bad idea that way, you by working on your passion and sharing it out to your friends and stuff, it will give me money to support my passion, even though it's not a great idea. So that's the, the plus side of our, um, platform compared to say if it was a GoFundMe, people would look and say, are you kidding me? I'm not going to donate my hard earned money to something that I don't believe is a good cause. And so that person on GoFundMe is just not having their campaign um, funded. And usually they get penalized if they, they don't get their 
campaign funded. So explain a little bit more about if somebody, there's the free account mm -hmm. and then there's a paid account. Explain that in a little more detail. Sure. Let me go back and show you. Whoops. Let's see if I still have my parents account up here. Okay, so there's these um, tab settings. And when you're a paid account, you're going to have a lot more tools that they give you to um, share it out. They give you a lot of um, videos that you can watch, ideas um, to help your campaign be shared out. They give you ways, um, social media graphics and everything that's, I don't know if you've ever <laughs> tried to make pictures a certain size for different, um, you know, Facebook to Instagram, they're all different sizes. And when you're playing around with stuff, it's sometimes it's, it's a little frustrating. Well, they've given you everything that you need um, pre-done to advertise what you're doing, to maybe share um, about Smash Fund and, and what it's all about. And then there's also some marketing tools and um, tools to get, uh, started with social media marketing and then um, this is your link that you can share with people and then there's a little referral banner and they give you some little verbiage here and stuff so you get extras and I can't really share too too much what's coming but what I can tell you is there's some really exciting things coming very shortly um, to help smash fund or to help you share smash fund and your um, passion or your page out to people as well as a way that is going to bring more money into you um, for sharing your invite code every month. So we're very excited for that to come about. So in that case, um, there's a free account then what does it cost to, for somebody to join the paid okay. account? Sure. So let's go back to that dashboard. Okay. So as of right now, um, when you come in free, that will monetize the person that you use their invite code $1. So this, account on this side is bringing in $130. And then this side is paid account or people that have paid accounts. And as of right now, it's bringing in $5. So this would be $50. So this account would be bringing in $180 every month. Now every person on this list as they share their invite code um, to other people, it will build and these numbers will go up. And that, that in that presentation, that was um, this right here. And that's where you see those free subscribers and plus subscribers um, go up as your account. As it begins to populate. Right, when it makes sense, like if, if you can't come in as a paid account, if you just can't afford it, then come in as a free account. And then when you look at your um, sub free subscribers and plus subscribers and see what it's paying you, there's gonna be a point where you're gonna say, wow, this is silly for me not to pay the 149 a month because it's bringing in 180 a month. So I'm, I'm up above the cost of having a paid account. Plus I get all those extra benefits um, that they give you for a paid account and there's much more to come. Okay. So the, just uh, to clarify my thinking, um, when a person signs up for a paid account and I'm encouraging them to send it out to other people that they know and ask them to do the same thing. Now, does the person who signs up for a free account, do they start building something up or do they have to Absolutely. be a free? Absolutely. 
Yeah. Oh, even a free one can build up? Oh, yeah. So um, let's go back to this. Oops. Crowd view. So in my brother's account, it was very similar to my parents. And so he came in as a free account and did not invite anyone. <laughs> so he... Um, his account is very similar to this. And if I could remember his password, I would bring it up and show you. Um, but I, I think he has like 110 on this side or, and I don't remember how many on this side, but it's paying more than the cost of an account. So when I showed him that he converted to a paid account because it's just, it's free money, you know? Okay. Uh so a person can come in as a free and start sending it out. And then once they get up to the $149, it's free to be a, a paid account. Yeah. Okay. I, that's, see, I didn't understand that. So that's really good. Yeah. And that's where it really benefits. Um, well, it benefits everybody, but let's go back to the nonprofit or the church where they can get an account and even start as a free account it may be better for a bigger organization to come in as a paid account because then they have those other referral tools, but say they can't then come in as a free account and then get all their supporters or church members to sign up using their invite code for a free account, but make them aware. This is one thing. Obviously the more people that convert, to a paid account helps, whoops, sorry. Well, I guess this was my parents' account. When it's converted to a paid account, you're making more for that church. So let's, let's just say this. The church starts as a free account. They sign up 500 church members. Well, some of those church members that signed up, you know, the first people are going to have multiple, multiple um, connections. So they're going to look and if they switch theirs to a paid account, it's going to give the church that much more every month from $1 to $5 every month. And, and so consider as the platform grows if all of those church members switch to a paid account and let's just see what that would be so instead of 500 a month that would be 2500 a month if everyone converted you know, that's a big difference. Mm -hmm. And there, it's going to actually be more than that because you're going to have that algorithm bumping into people and overlapping. So your crowd is going to be a lot bigger. So how many, um, or how about for Canada, for those that are my followers from Canada? Yep. So uh, my parents actually live in Canada. Um, we've got quite a few accounts in Canada. And the only difference there is they don't have direct deposit, so they will open up a, a PayPal account if they don't have one. If they already have a PayPal account, they can use that account. Um, so the money will be deposited. The 149 is US. Um, so don't that, that conversion is different. The conversion yeah. rate, but it's about say 180. But when they get their um, monthly cash rewards it's paid in US money so it you know can be converted back to Canadian or they can keep it in US and or pay it out of a PayPal account whatever suits them okay. yeah. I believe like my parents have it come into their PayPal account and they'll just let it set for a while and then they'll move it over to their bank account very cool yeah all right. Um, Beth, is there anything that I left out or, or that we should, you want to add anything? 
She's got to turn off her oh, turn unmute on her yourself. Press your mute button again. <laughs> there we go. There. Uh, no, I I think um, you covered all bases. It was very good. And yeah, got some questions answered. And that was good information about Canada, too. Uh, I learned something new there. So that was good. And yeah. of, of course, Australia, we have a lot of connections with Australia now. And so, you know, Smash Fund is in Australia, too. Yep. And we've got something very exciting um, coming that's going to allow us to go into 80 more English speaking countries. So if you can picture where we are now, um, just using Facebook as an example, can you imagine being like this platform opened up May 1st? If you were in Facebook and they paid you for every friend that you know you friended and they accepted, and then you think of how many friends you have now and then count those friends and how many friends are they linked to. That's thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And we're at the very beginning of something extraordinary. And um, my husband and I, our goal is to reach out to as many nonprofits as possible and help them get the funding, help the people that are already reaching out to try to make a difference. Um, to help them push their reach out, their ripple effect a lot, a lot further. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very yeah. good. And I think there's a lot of nonprofits that really struggle with trying to raise the funds. Uh, Absolutely. And, and churches, you know. And so, yes. yeah. It's um, that sustaining income, residual income, it's critical. And this is such a, a really simple way. Right. Of working at getting sustaining income. Yep. Yeah, for sure. And you even mentioned that students will oftentimes use it to get to get funding for their oh just yeah. Pay their tuition and different things. Yep, absolutely. Very good. I mean, think of how um the millennials the they're sharing their on Instagram, Twitter, they're everywhere, Snapchat, like they're on so many platforms sharing their lives, their passions, and their needs or whatever. This is a way that they can monetize their social connections and actually pay for their schooling or, you know, mm -hmm. pay for a car, or rent or whatever they need and mm -hmm. start out for free and build it up to where it makes sense to convert to a paid account. Very wow. cool. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, what, what we will do is I will post, um, unless there's other questions, I will post this um, presentation and then when there's a, enough questions we'll host another presentation for you to for those questions to be answered okay so um, I have Absolutely. I will be sharing it out to quite a few people so. okay well thank you so much thank you so much great to appreciate you it thank, thank you thank you all okay bye bye, bye. thank you